Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to round decimals. Now, rounding is a very important skill because it's used all throughout math and life. When we round, we find a close or approximate value to the number we're working with. Rounding helps us make numbers easier and simpler to work with and can even make them shorter. You've probably come across a very long decimal answer on a calculator or after working out a problem. Rounding decimals is very useful in these situations along with many others. And again, when we round, we find a close value to our original number. Let's jump into our examples and see exactly how we round decimals. So for number one, we have six and 78 hundredths. The first thing that we need to do, find the place that we're rounding to. For number one, we're going to round to the tenths place. Let's underline the digit in the tenths place. So that's seven. Once we have that, we look at the place and digit to the right. So to the right of the tenths place, we have the hundredths place. In the hundredths place, we have the digit eight. So let's draw an arrow to show that we are looking to the right. Now that digit to the right is very important. It determines if we round up or stay the same. Essentially what we're doing, we're seeing, is this closer to six and seven tenths or is it closer to six and eight tenths? So five or more, we round up, four or less, we stay the same. Well, eight is more than five, so we are going to round up. I'm going to draw something that looks like an equal sign, but it's with curved lines. That means we're finding an approximate or rounded value. So again, we're rounding up, so we are rounding to six and eight tenths. That's our final rounded answer. Now I cut that decimal off after the tenths place. When we round decimals, we cut them off after the rounded place. We don't need to change everything to the right to a zero like we do with whole numbers. Zeros to the right of a decimal do not change the value of that decimal, so we can leave them off. So again, we can cut that decimal off after the rounded place. So six and eight tenths, our final rounded answer. Let's move on to number two, where we have 455 thousandths. Let's round this number to the hundredths place. Underline the digit in the hundredths place, so that five. Let's look to the right. So we have a five in the place to the right. So five or more, we round up. Four or less, we keep the digit the same. Well, that's five or more, so we round up. So we round to 46 hundredths, and we cut that off after the rounded place, so after the hundredths place, and our final rounded answer, 46 hundredths. Now, before starting number three, I do wanna mention that there are sayings to help you remember the rounding rules. For example, five or more, raise the score, four or less, let it rest. Let's move on to number three, where we have 27 and 7,392 ten thousandths. Let's round this one to the thousandths place. So this nine right here. Look to the right, we have a two. So five or more, or four or less. Well, that's four or less, so we keep that nine the same here, and our final rounded answer, 27 and 739 thousandths. Moving on to number four, we're going to round number four to the hundredths place. So the six, let's look to the right, we have a three. Five or more, or four or less. Well, that's four or less, so we stay the same, and we round to 26 hundredths. Let's move on to number five, where we have three and eight tenths. So we're going to round this one to the ones place. This is also known as rounding to the nearest whole number. So we're seeing, is this closer to three or is it closer to four? Let's look to the right. 
and we have an eight. So eight is five or more, so we round up. Three and eight tenths rounds to four. Now, if you were to put four decimal zero, you change that tenths place to a zero, this would still be correct. These are equal, but like we talked about earlier, you can cut decimals off after the rounded place because zeros to the right of a decimal do not change the value. Lastly, let's move on to number six where we have a very long decimal and we're going to round this one to the tenths place. So let's underline the digit in the tenths, this two, look to the right, we have a nine. So is that five or more or four or less? Well, nine is more than five, so we round up. So I will come below here so I have enough room. This is going to round up to one and three tenths. Cut off after the tenths place, right? After the rounded place. Again, final rounded answer, one and three tenths. So there you have it. There's how you round decimals. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.